Right. Pika Pika. So this is an alternate fingering that will make your life a lot easier as you do this. The first section starts always with A base. And you're going to be on fourth position. Remember, your index finger tells you what position you're on, whether you're playing on or not. Right now, my second finger is on the fifth fret, but because my index finger, my one finger is on the fourth fret, I'm on fourth position. So I start with an A base. Two, three, two, one. Now check this out. We're going to slide up and find ourselves in fifth position. Then because I'm in fifth position, my finger, my pinky, is going to land here on the eighth fret. And I'm going to pinch that with A base. Then I land my index finger as a mini bar on the G and the B strings, and I'm going to chuck those. Right? So one more time. Slide. And then I'm going to get my two finger out of position on the seventh fret sixth string, and I'm going to pinch that with the first string. I'm going to put my third finger on the D sharp of the ninth fret, sorry, eighth fret, right? Right above that. So. out, let go of the one, land three there, and then I'm going to let go of four and tuck one on the seventh fret. So I actually have one and two on the seventh fret. This would be easier, but because of what we had there, what preceded it, it makes it more difficult. Right? And then comes the second section of the piece. It's the same over here, but we're starting with E bass. I tuck in the 1, and I tuck in the 4 this time on the 7th fret, play that with E bass, I keep 1 where it is. I just add 3 on the 3rd string, 7th fret, and I chuck that. Right? Oh, sorry about the sound there. It's a lot easier because you just leave your pinky there, A bass, land your bar, and then so you chuck and then you play the first string. Now about landing your bars, it's always best to try to pinch the bars against the fret, right? If you're here, it's gonna be a lot harder to press. You know, here you don't press as much, right? So those two parts. Slide. Sorry. the third part, this time you're going to have to travel from first position all the way up the neck. Not all the way, but... Right? Very easy. It's kind of the same thing, but it's going to make sense to actually stay in this position. E1, E4 on the D sharp. Right? Because you needed to land your pinky on the 5th fret, so you're in 2nd position. And then, on the 1st string, right, 1 on the 2nd string, 2nd fret, and then 4 on the 3rd fret, 2nd string, 2 on the 3rd string, just a chuck. One more time that last part. It's easier perhaps to use 3, because you're going to land 4, right? that part up to you. If you want to jump with four, that's fine. Or... With D bass. Keep two on four there, because you're going to land three here on the F, on the fourth string, third fret, and get to the sixth string, and you're going to play that. Right? With the bass. Believe it or not, that's a D minor chord. Then you're gonna hinge your bar and grab the first string only. Then hinge up. It's almost like a hinge of a door, right? Two with A bass. Right on the G string. So again. 
four on the third fret. One, B, two with A bass. One, two, B, one, four. And then jump one to the G -sh and do a triple chuck with E bass. Four, one, B. And then grab a downstairs chord, A minor. Four. This is going to be tricky on the fifth string. Now here's the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs>